Well, L.A.'s, now to this, L.A.'s oldest record store is up for sale. Yeah, we have Bob DeCastro. He is live at the Record Collector with more on what comes next for the historic business. Bob. It's an amazing place, an institution here in Los Angeles, and when you step into it, it's honestly like stepping into a museum. It is cavernous. <laughs> if you look at some of the records here, and yes, it's called the Record Collector uh, in the Melrose District. This is just across the street from Fairfax High School. The business is now up for sale, and so is the building. Sandy has been the owner for the past 50 years. You tell me this is a collection that you started when you were just 12 years old. Well, I started uh, collecting records when I was 12. By 22, I had amassed 10,000 classical LPs and 78s, and I opened the store at that point in 1974. And how many records are we looking at here that's, that's in this entire uh, store? Well, we, and the entire store is a half a million. A half a million. And right. you tell me you know where everything is. I asked you to pull some, some, some stuff off the shelves here. This is just right off the shelves over here. You have, this is music history that we're basically looking at here. This is recorded history, the greatest of the arts, music, the greatest invention of the 20th century, the phonograph record. Yeah. And some of these are almost like in mint condition. What are we these, looking at no, here? These are... A1 condition. These are original issues of Miles Davis records pulled out of our rare jazz section. Here's Kind of Blue, which everybody asks about. And, and, and why? You're, it's just time to, it's, it's time to pass the torch. What are you hoping for in terms of a buyer that will buy this building or buy your business? What are you hoping for? Well, we bought the building in 99 after hitting a half a million records on, High, on Highland Avenue. Uh, we're looking for somebody who is like-minded who will take it the next 50 years. Yeah. 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 Amazing stuff here. We're going to take a walk down uh, walk down there, Brian, and then I'm going to get Pan over here, who's a listing agent, uh, to tell us more about this business. You were telling me you, you came across this just like me. Just It was kind of serendipitous, right? Absolutely. It is um, a very, very special location. It's a beautiful building, and I had just closed escrow with... Uh, uh, another agent on a property and brought some 78s in for Sandy to see per my co-listing agent suggestion. And now it's like, it's for and sale. now it's for sale. I wasn't expecting that. No. Tell us about the building itself, because by the way, we went back here and it goes way back there. And if you see all the, the records here, this is floor to ceiling, all, all records, but the building itself is historic, right? The building is about 100 years old, and it's your typical brick, mortar, beautiful former, I guess, studio, recording studio. And um, it was the first on Melrose. And it's all about location, location, location. Location, mm -hmm. right, right. I, the next hour, I'm going to show you pictures of this building. If you can imagine, back in the 1920s, the first building on Melrose, uh, there were like Model Ts outside. There's nothing around here, right? Uh, wheat fields. Wheat fields. Wheat fields. Yes, so it's, it's kind of crazy when you see Melrose today. Uh, so we'll spend the morning here at the Record Collector. As I said, we could talk forever just about the records in here. Sandy uh, is, uh, he, <laughs> the knowledge that comes from him is unbelievable. But he's ready to sell this business, ready to sell the building. We put all the information on our website, foxla.com. You know, look at this stuff. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, that's Everything you could possibly imagine. It's like a... Like yeah, a from, from like... From like the late 1800s to like 1985, he's he said he never... Uh, you know, when when the when the CDs came in and digital came in, he didn't succumb to any of that. He says, "Nope, we're not doing it." They're one of the only stores of its kind that actually sells just vinyl. Oh That's a gosh. special, special place here in LA. Taking you back, huh, Maria? 